five red lights on and five red lights out right now and we're underway. The Aston Martins lead the pack. A couple of drivers stuck at the back of the grid there and going into the turn number one, it's the Alpine. Some drivers are losing some places. Hennes Jr. losing one there, max speed, but so far so good. Yeah, I, I, I'm glad I have pineapple on my pizza. Yeah, what a start to that race. Henner's got sideways a couple of We're back underway, and that gap between Henner's and Stoney is still neck and neck as they're side by side going through the first lap now as they're hunting down towards the first corner. It's going to be Henner's up the inside there, closes off on Stoney, but allows Stoney up the inside. No, he doesn't. This car route. Stay right on that bumper, but then they spin. Contact through turn number one is going to spin Henner's around and allow Stoney to hold on to P5 for the moment. But if I've ever seen racing before, you got to get back underway here and get through it. Like. Stoney a little bit further down the road. Silk Weaver and the McDonald's meal are in P6 and P7, but they're on the medium tires. Oh, and Henners is out. Wow, They're just brilliant, great. aren't they? Yeah, okay. Now, I, I, well, I'm screwed. We'll get a virtual safety car. I, well, will it be a full yeah. safety car? Ooh, he gets the sure. penalty oh. right at the restart there. Look at the gap between the leaders, though. It's closed within and under a second. Only one pit box. So will they yeah, share that's it? A really good point. <laughs> they don't go in. Handed to Shay B there. Sin quickly overtakes perpetual oh. rate. It's mayhem at the start. There's a McLaren facing backwards as Henners jumps up to P2. The Alpha Tauri in P2. Perpetual rain down in P4 with Sin splitting the two there in the top four. This has been a disaster. Parabolica. That was going to come down turn one side by side. It's the fashion statement versus the Alfa Romeo. Who's going to get it? Who's going to get in the last late break and save from Henners? Yes, he has, but he's going to compromise his exit speed. He's covered it off, but good job, Henners. He's trying to go around the outside of Silk Weaver here. Sneaks in behind the rear wing of that Alpine. Which way is he going to go? Up the inside or around the outside through the next couple? Going through the Lesmos now, and up the inside goes Mach Speed and overtakes up into P12 and holds on to that position for now from the Red Bull in P13. Wall. We have a VSC now, and are they going to give us a safety car this early on? I still just see the VSC. And we're back racing once again, but Matt BR Racing picks up a drive through penalty for speeding under the virtual safety car there. He's, he's actually out of the race. <laughs> there he this is. This restart has been an absolute disaster. And this is going to have to go defend here on the default setup. That's going to be dangerous, and I think Fluffy Dave might have him. There you go. So, then he's full overtake. Chicane, he's not going to have it just yet. Gets a little bit of a jump there from the curve that you don't normally see. Almost like a whoop section from Supercross. If there's any uh, gearheads out there, swing wide open for staying within the second of the car ahead into the detection zone as they break down into turn number one. All of the positions for the McLaren as he gets around up the inside of Ruby Scrim for that P6 position from the Mercedes. And that's something that I hope to see this season is a McLaren overtaking. He's going to do it. Can he hold it? I can hand his hand hold it. Wow. What an entry and exit. He could be under massive pressure right now, but Henders is back. He's on top of the timesheet with that penalty. Wow. Welcome along to Formula One Racing, guys. On lap number seven, so we've made it further than a little bit ago. And... We're still racing here with Fluffy Dave. Once again, risking it for the biscuit through Ascari. It's dangerous territory right now. And Perpetual Rain's lurking in the background. And he says, okay, there's maybe rain in Italy. There will be rain in Italy at the moment. As they're going to go down the back straight into Curva Parabolica. So your top three, these are your podium sitters. Still fighting through every corner, every possible overtaking position. Neck and neck here for these positions. Fluffy Dave leading. He's up a few positions in this race. How about... Give me an idea of those ties at the moment. Softs, guys. Well, Fluffy's about the old 27% there on the softs. So not too bad, but he's got a bit of pressure for Petrol Rain and the old Henners in P3. Yeah, still keeping it brilliant. First step on the podium. Oh, about zero of his overtakes were shown, and that's what I'm doing here. I'm failing to show all of these overtakes from Cody Lawrence as he gets through once again. Here might be having some issues with cornering, possibly, maybe some downforce as well, as we have motion blur apparently enabled. 
wants oh, me off track. He must have been typing in Twitch chat once again as I was just reading his message there. Got a bit distracted or maybe it's us in his ear as he's also saying he forgot his setup. It doesn't look like an overtake just yet, but we have perpetual rain jumping onto those medium tires. 15 laps to go in the race. We'll easily make it to the end and make it a one-stop in this race. Cody Lawrence will still have to box one more time in this race. As here's contact Whoa. between the two drivers. And finally, a good view from Codemasters. We appreciate that. But I'm sure Stoney doesn't appreciate that, though. Completely missed it as I'm jumping around between seven different things going on. I apologize for that. But it's Cody Lawrence up in a P2 now with Silk Weaver leading the way. Fluffy Dave in P2. Fluffy Dave allows Perpetual Rain through. Obviously not intentionally, but it seems so easy. It had to be as Perpetual Rain's now in that final podium Try position. and attack Pelletier here in P11. Oh, runs a bit of an awkward line there as there's a Red Bull around. What's going on? This is... I have no idea. It is what it is, and I'm like a hand is going Harris. around. Now that is what I just caught. I'm not sure what that goes is out. Now give you an idea what Cody's tires are, and I'll tell you what, Cody. If you want to know anybody can test the tire. Laps on soft. <laughs> 52, 52 percent at the moment for what? Cody, but I could see that man take him at the 90s if he needs to. <laughs> he took him to 74 percent last. Yeah, they just came out, but then again, Perpetual Rain says I'm not waiting around for your pizza, Cody. Up in the P1. But that Does Cody got a slide rule out there? Is that how he's calculating? Uh... Three as they're coming through the Lesmos now. And there's still that Honda wing right in front of Hayden there for that P3 position. There's going to be a nice it's run down. One person, look at this. Ruby just... on, Stoney. No, can't do it here, mate. That's last late yeah. breakers. So Hayden is getting a little... The that they're yeah. pulling through the, the chicanes, it's it just... It's Surf mind. time penalties, though, under safety car. He just did. How... <laughs> I love I love watching the pit crew just freeze. We're just about back underway here as they warm up their tires the best they possibly can. Brian would like this battle to be known as the McDonald's combo bag versus the Wendy's Baconator. But I tried to get that overtake done, couldn't do it that early on. Still up front, it's going to be Cody from Hayden or Wendy's Baconator from McDonald's combo bag up in P1 and P2 with Fluffy Dave. Ding. 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 So he's ghosted, which tells me that he's either disconnected, possibly. Uh. I, he might be disconnected there in P10. I'm the driver in P10 was looking forward to his race and his result here, but he's still in a points position. So as long as he can yeah. hold off that minute lead that he has, minute and a half lead from Insurrection. P12 with and back. P13, they started. And he's McDonald's making his special run on the Cody Lawrence. So this is going to be a risk it for the biscuit here. Who wants a happy meal? McDonald's battling one in one another here, and I'm fumbling all over my words at this point because it's been a long night of a couple of double races here, and as we finally tick towards the penultimate lap, this will be the last lap. As he's gonna cross the line, what can he do? I mean, Cody's just a machine, but obviously, turn the fryer off right now, McDonald's special. Turn it off. Well, Shut keep an eye on this down down as for well. P1. This is where he has to try and make the overtake. Can't quite get it done. But look at this battle right now. P5, P6, P7, all jockeying for position here. And there goes Henner's through. He's got to open up a three-second time gap. He's got Stoney there to try and open it up. going on as there might be a little bit of an issue back there towards P7. No, he's just slowing up a bit. But look at this, Biggles, as they go in to the final DRS zone, your final chance to really get a good shot at an overtake. It's gonna be Cody Lawrence of the race as we tick down towards the final. One corner left now. It's gonna be Cody ahead of Hayden. As they round through Parabolica, Cody will make it two and two for P1. Cody Lawrence wins once again here at Monza. Back at P2 with Fluffy Dave crossing the line in P3. Henner's cross P5 dropped to P7 from time penalties. Ruby Scrim was up there, but as he crossed the line, dropped down to P6 laps of that original race. And unfortunately, due to some code masters or code fumbling issues, we found ourselves with this podium. It's Cody Lawrence on the top step there celebrating with the champagne. He got hated.